Is everything all right? On the whole, no. It is not. I have spent much effort gathering information in our travel so far, and my cell diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. I'm sure your research isn't that bad. You are polite to say this, but if something does not change, my efforts will be mere stagnation. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. So, how are you going to do that? If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. Is that even possible? Who is to say? There were great advances made before the war in cognition and memories. Surely there is someone who can help, or at least point us in the right direction. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. Keep the train! We're always open! Maybe they have the tourist brochure. You run in from something? Welcome home. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Greetings, Doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Can you do it or not? I won't even consider something like this. Unless there's a good reason. I was programmed to further our studies of disease, pathogens, and viruses. I cannot do this with the fundamental limitations of my robotic systems. If I become human, with the wealth of information in my databanks, I hope to do much good for the Commonwealth. A pre-war robot with your knowledge and skills, plus human cognition. Yes, you could potentially save many lives. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though. All the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand. Well, it's already somewhere between the two. What do you know about synths? To be clear, it may not work. But some synths have cybernetic enhancements that interface directly with their brains. The Institute must have found an interpreter for raw data. That's my hope, at least. I don't have a synth brain handy, Doc. I may be able to help with that. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. 
So you're willing to perform the operation? My patient knew the risks and opted for memory replacement. She wanted a new life. I failed her. But this... this procedure may be as close as I can get to fulfilling her wishes. But I cannot make this decision. Her caretaker can. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They are understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. Caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. You're looking to stock up on general equipment. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. All right, here. The room is on the top floor. When you come to the hallway, it's the last one on the right. Your room is upstairs, top floor, the last one. What are you looking at? So, you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? You know she's a sin. We're supposed to protect them. Glory? She wanted new memories. She knew her personality would be all but erased. These are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. I... I think she'd like that. Fine. Do it. Do it now, before I change my mind. Curie, let's begin. I should Curie, see this through. Terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I... I... My chest? What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. Is that really you, Kiri? Yes. You sound so different with these ears. Good. Very good. 
Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but there. My chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Burrow. The operation appears successful, but I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. I wonder what has happened as well. Is what has befallen the Commonwealth atypical, less extreme, Listen, more? G519 went through a lot. She was good. Solid. I hope... I hope a little of that's still there. And if it isn't, make sure all of this was worth it. What was G5 like? Tough. Tough enough the SRB had to strip her mind. More than once. When I saw G5, she didn't even recognize me. But I owed her from my time in the Institute. That's all I'm going to say. Losing G5 was tough. But I think she would have wanted her death to mean something. See you back at HQ. Hey. May I be of assistance? Hey. Remember, to breathe. I keep thinking if I forget to do this, no more curry. And suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something new. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair this now. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. That makes me feel... better. Come, I... I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. Shouldn't the coroner be doing that instead? 